since it's kind of cold today and since I mostly ran out of bananas picking them up tomorrow but I ran out I made oatmeal and this is Levi's pretty bowl uh, so we have oatmeal bananas some fresh dehydrated local cacao nibs coconuts and uh, frozen blueberries and a little bit of coconut sugar and cinnamon well hey guys today is my glorious day off it is the first real day off that I've had in like three weeks so work has been really busy and renovating the house has been you know like kind of stressful but we were pretty prepared so it's just like living in piles of our own filth and trying to still function through that and Levi was nice enough to let me run away for a couple of hours to go clean up the horse stalls and get cuddles from the horses for a little while and I was asked by someone what they think about wearing bras because they were saying that they were thinking about stop wearing bras and I know that there was this French study that came out it was like a year or two ago that it came out but I still see it circulating on Facebook that oh when you don't wear a bra you have lower breast cancer risk and your boobs don't get as saggy and being that I have consciously chosen to wear a bra for 23 and a half hours of every day for my entire life, I really have to disagree with that statement. In my opinion, that study that was done on women who didn't wear bras and had lower rates of breast cancer was more to do with the fact that women who don't wear bras, I suppose, are more likely or possibly more likely to be eating more fruits and vegetables, have more of a plant-based diet, be doing more exercises like yoga and such, and those types of exercises could also account for why there was less sag. Now, on the other hand, I see a lot of evidence that just like blatantly contradicts that idea, mostly to do with the sagging, just because I see a lot of women who haven't worn bras that have really saggy boobs, and there's no judgment there. But I think the main thing about this study was encouraging lymphatic movement and lymphatic drainage. And you can do that while you wear a bra if you just massage your boobs. Or shit, get your boyfriend or your husband to massage your boobs every day. Trust me, they don't complain. Get the support that comes from wearing a bra and enjoy the lack of sagging that comes when you wear a bra. But you still do the massage, the breast massage, and that pumps the lymph and it also encourages collagen and elastin growth. So that'll encourage the growth of compounds and such that will support your boobs as they age. Now it's also important to keep in mind that exercising and maintaining muscle tone in your pecs is really important as well. Like, it's just another example of how you can't half-ass it or you can't find one thing that's gonna make the big difference. I also find it like somewhere in the vicinity of fucking hilarious when women <laughs> say to me, well, I don't want to get breast cancer, so I'm not gonna wear a bra. I'm like, bitch, I just watched you drink a glass of milk. You had scrambled eggs and bacon for breakfast and you're thinking that you're just not gonna wear a bra and you'll avoid getting breast cancer? Like, bitch, please! It's diet and lifestyle that's gonna make the difference in breast health. Whether or not you wear a bra is, in my mind, like, completely fucking erroneous. Especially if, while you're wearing a bra, you're mindful enough to do things like massage your boobs on a regular basis and maintain muscular health underneath your boob. Underneath your boobs. So, should you wear a bra? I mean, it's your choice. I'm gonna wear a bra every day for the rest of your life because like I said, I'm 27 and my tits are still fucking amazing. And I met a lot of 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 year olds who had the tits of 45 year olds because they never wore bras or they didn't wear bras while they were sleeping. And again, no judgment, like there's nothing, there's absolutely nothing wrong with having any kind of boob that anyone in the entire world has. But I don't think that skipping out on wearing a bra is going to save anyone from breast cancer. And I definitely don't think it's gonna save anyone from sagging. 
eat a good diet. That's the most important part of breast health. Absolutely, positively, 100%. The most important aspect that you must address is diet. After that, it's just a personal choice. I am now at the stables. And I'm going to go take good care of these beautiful horses who are not abused animals. That's Ginny the guinea. She likes, she gets in everybody's boot. Alright, I'm gonna fill this bad boy up with horse poop. partially blind, so she lives inside. Hello. Finished with the horses and then had to like run home super fast and take a shower because I promised my friend that I would go to the yoga nidra class that she's. So I went to that. And for anyone that's dealing with adrenal or thyroid or any other endocrine issues, you're pretty much just healing anything chronic pain, arthritis, autoimmune disorders, anything. I highly recommend yoga nidra because it's so soothing to the nervous system and it's so calming and relaxing and it's just absolutely getting that type of calm and restoration is just absolutely essential for healing of almost every type of issue twin bowls we both had to upgrade bowl size because it just wasn't big enough for this beast <laughs> you want to tell me what's in there Oh my god. So no, good. you go I'm for so it. Excited. Oh my god. I think I have more vegetables than you, babe. I think you do. What's happening there? I don't know. So we ran out of brown rice. So I made white rice and had black beans that I cooked the other day. And I have red cabbage, green cabbage, lettuce, uh, purple sweet potato. And then I have, I think it's cassava, but the grower just doesn't know what it is. I have... Onions, tomatoes, red peppers, and herbs. Cilantro, parsley, and green onions in there. And avocados. And Levi, you've been working all day. And I literally like left and then just relaxed and played for half of the day and you kept working. Tell her what tell them what you did. What I did? Yeah. In your fun day. I took care of the horses and then I went to a yoga nidra class, but See, because I've been blogging all day, so they already know about that and so much. Just watching Narcos and spending time with you and eating this five-pound bowl of food. Your foot is in my nuts. Get it. 